We are still on the elective mathematics for 2024, paper 2, May, June. So we have question 11 here. We are to express 9x over 2x plus 1, x squared plus 1 in partial fractions. So we set up the partial fraction. So 9x over 2x plus 1. And we have x squared plus 1. So this will be equal to this will be equal to um, a over a over two x plus one then plus b x plus c over x squared plus one because we cannot factor the quadratic factor x squared plus one into linear factors. So we now collect the LCM. So this is equivalent to that. So the LCM 9x over 2x plus 1. Then x squared plus 1 is equivalent to mm, the LCM is 2x plus 1. And we have x squared plus 1. So this divide this to give us x squared plus 1. So a into x squared plus 1 plus this x squared plus 1 divides the LCM to, get, to give us 2x plus 1. So we have bx plus c over uh, times 2x plus 1. So since the denominators are the same, we can equate the exp uh, the, the um, can equate the Numerator. So we have a into x plus x squared plus one plus b x plus c. Then we have two x plus one. So when x is equal to uh, when x equals zero, what do we get? When x equals zero. When x equals 0, we will obtain 9 times 0, which is 0, is equal to um, a, because 0 square is 0 plus 1 is 1, so we get a here. Then when we put 0 here, we get c. Then when we put 0 here, we get 1. So 0 plus c. In other words, a is equal to negative c. We can call this equation one. Then when we put when we put x to be equal to negative two, negative one over two, negative one over two. So we have nine x. So we have nine x. Nine x is equal to a into bracket x squared plus one plus bx plus c then we have 2x plus 1 so when x equal negative 1 over 2 this will become 0 so we are going to get 9 times negative 1 over 2 is equal to a into bracket negative 1 over 2 squared plus 1 so that will be equal to negative 9 over 2 is equal to and half square is 1 over 4. 1 over 4 plus 1 will give you 5 over A. Yeah, 5 over 4 A. So when we cross multiply, you get 5 A is equal to uh, 10 A. 2 times 5 is 10 A. And 4 times 9 is negative 36. So dividing through by 10, we have a to be equal to negative 36 over 10. So that will give us negative 18. a is equal to negative 18 over 5. So if a equal to negative 18 over 5, then c will be equal to c will be equal to negative a, which is negative negative 18 over 5. 
that is 18 over 5. C is equal to 18 over 5. Then we can also expand. So when we expand this, we are going to get 9x is equal to ax squared plus bx times 2x will give us 2bx squared plus 2bx squared. So when we compare then plus the other terms plus the other terms so when we compare the coefficients you will see that zero is equal to a plus 2b a plus 2b so we know the a to be the a to be negative 18 over 5 so zero is equal to negative 18 over 5 plus 2b so this implies that 2b will be equal to 18 over 5. So dividing through by 2 by 2, you get b to be equal to 9 over 5. So this becomes a, a, which is negative 18 over 5. So negative 18 over 5 into bracket 2x plus 1. Then we have plus bx b is 18 9 over 5 so plus 9x plus c c is 18 x plus 18 all over 5 into bracket x squared plus x squared plus what We have the B part of the question here. If 2m permutation 2 minus 10 is equal to m permutation 2, find the positive value of m. So remember that we have n permutation r. It gives us n factorial over n minus r factorial. So 2m is standing for n now. So we have 2m factorial over, over over 2m minus 2 factorial minus 10 is equal to m factorial over m minus 2 factorial so what do we do next um we, by the definition of factorial we know that n factorial is the same as n um n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to 2 times 1 so we can rewrite 2m factorial as 2m times 2m minus 1 2m minus 2 all over so 2m minus 2 factorial we end there because we see 2m minus 2 factorial in the denominator so minus 10 minus 10 will be equal to m factorial eh, m into m minus 1 m minus 2 factorial we end there because we can see m minus 2 factorial in the denominator so that's this will get rid of this this will get rid of this so we are left with 2m into m minus 1 so we have 2m into 2m minus 1 minus 10 is equal to m into m minus 1 so we can factor we can expand we can expand to get something so 2m into 2m minus 1 we had 2m into 2m minus 1 minus 10 is equal to m into m minus 1 that's what we had so we can uh, I can multiply this by this to get 4m squared. This time by this we give a minus 2m. Then minus 10 is equal to we have m squared um, minus m. So we have 4m squared minus m squared minus 2m plus m minus 10 is equal to 0. 
So you have 3m squared minus m minus 10 is equal to 0. So we need to factor this. We need to factor this. So we can see that um, 3 times negative 10 will give you negative 30. So factors of negative 30 that when you add, you get negative um, is negative 6 and 5. So we have 3m squared minus 6m. That's 5m minus 10 is equal to 0. So we are going to obtain 3m out. We have m minus 2. We have minus 1 out. Uh, minus 5 out. m minus 2 is equal to 0. So we are going to get 3m minus 5 into m minus 2 is equal to, oh sorry, it's supposed to be positive, positive 5 out, positive out, not negative. So minus 2, so this will be 3m plus 5 is equal to 0. So we are going to obtain either 3m plus 5 is equal to 0 or 2m, a eh, or m minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have m to be equal to negative 5 over 3 or m is equal to 2. The positive value of m is therefore 2. Now let's check and see whether this is true. So 2m for permutation 2 minus 10. So for 2m before for permutation 2 minus 10. What do we get? Will we, will we equal to 2 permutation 2? Let's check. So 4 permutation 2 will be 4 factorial over 4 minus 2 factorial minus 10. And this will give you 2 factorial over 2 minus 2 factorial. So that will give us 2 times 2 times 1. And this one will give us uh, 4 factorial over 2 factorial. So that will give us 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. This will cancel this minus 10. 4, 3, 12. 12 minus 10 will be equal to 2 times 1, which is 2. So that is correct.